Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kiwanis Field here this beautiful evening in Ephrata. We're not here broadcasting football or baseball or, or anything like that. We're here because we've got 151 students at Ephrata High School that are going to be graduating this afternoon. And it goes without saying it, it's such a popular event and the bleachers are completely full. They've set up extra stands on either side. But what makes it a little more special today is that they brought in the graduating classes for the 100th uh, annual reunion. And so you've got all these classes in town. Uh, they came in yesterday, and they're going to be here through, through Monday. And all of those uh, alumni are here for this event. It's, I, I think the whole town is here, to be honest with you. I'm Cody Johnson with iFiber One. Stay tuned after this quick commercial break. We're going to tell you a little about this uh, graduating class this year. Okay, we're going to we're going to stick with our action here, um, and I see we've got our grads starting to, to come in. So we're going to stay with our live action here, and we'll try and get a close-up shot of that. Now I, I do want to tell you. These seniors spend a lot of time practicing for graduation. I'm going to say they put in 10 to 12 hours with Principal uh, uh, Martel, and it, it runs like clockwork every year, just like clockwork. And with 151 students, you would think it would last two or three hours. That's not the case. We're expecting about an hour and a half. And you can hear the crowd. Welcome this year's graduating class. But anyway, they spent 10 to 12 hours working on this. A lot of people have, uh, have pitched in to help. And according to my stats, they spent an hour in the principal's office for disciplinary reasons. Now check that, that was me. I'm supposed to limit my jokes. I gotta, I gotta be careful. And our graduating class is making their way down. We're going to try and get our other camera positioned here so we can get get you a, a wider shot on this. All right, let me tell you a little bit about this year's graduating class for Ephrata High School. One thing, if you haven't seen a ceremony in the past few years, they don't spend extra time talking about all the scholarships that each of the students have received. They do put an insert in the program, but uh, they, they don't announce it. I can tell you this, though. They've got, this class has got over $200,000 that they've received in scholarships.
as our grads are making their way to their to their seats. We got a little funny stuff going on down there, but uh, some of these students will be graduating with uh, a degree from Big Ben. They've put in uh, some extra time and have been earning credits their junior and senior years. In talking with Principal Dan Martell, I oh, I can I'll never forget the quote he said. He goes, "I love this country, and I'm going to tell you why. Our kids today have so many different avenues that they can pursue if they want to get into an accelerated program. Big Bend has been terrific in helping those students. They've got the AVID program." And there's around, I, I want to say, 25 or 30 students a year that are selected for that. And really, uh, it's a, an elective that the kids have to give up to take this AVID class, and it prepares them for college and prepares them for submitting applications for scholarships. I do want to thank our cameraman out here today, Nick White. And we got our producer uh, in the studio, Spencer King. And we got Kelly Ryan down there to make sure Spencer's pushing all the right buttons. really don't think I've seen Kiwanis Field packed with so many people. Bleachers, I mean, it is just shoulder to shoulder. We've got chairs set up on the track and uh, on the football field, and a lot of people just laying on the grass. One of the other interesting things about the Ephrata School District, and in particular the parents, they've got a program they call Mr. Senior uh, uh, with dancing, singing, and uh, they that's how they raise money for this class so they can put together uh, a party right after the ceremony, and it's an all-nighter. Once the kids get there, they can't leave. And all night long, they give away all kinds of prizes to the kids, TVs and, uh, and Blu-ray players. I mean, there's no student who's going to walk out of there without something. And the later you stay, then uh, the, the bigger the prizes get. And that's put on uh, primarily by the parents. They've, they've organized that for a number of years. And just a terrific way to let the kids celebrate, you know, get them off the street and uh, kind of away from uh, the, some of the parties that are really what uh, they should be doing. Although I do say that uh, this is such an upstanding class, I, I really don't think you would have to worry about uh, these young men and women.
Now you'll notice some of the students have different colored cords that they're wearing around their neck. The white cord indicates they are uh, avid student. Red cord is uh, for three years involved in activities, whether it be sports or uh, any, any other extracurricular activity, if they've spent three years. The gold tassels indicate they're a member of the National Honor Society. And a gold cord indicates uh, it's an honor student with a GPA of 3.6 or better. Last of our students are coming in. I do want to take a moment to recognize two uh, of their teachers, Kathleen Allstott and Sally Katz, uh, are retiring at the conclusion of this year. Kathleen Allstott has been working in the district for 37 years uh, in the library. Sally Katz, of course, she's been here for 40 years and. Uh, She's been the, the dance coach the, for the, the drill team. But I understand it's, it's going to be hard for her to kind of walk away. She's, she intends to come back and kind of help the, the new coach as they get going this next year. This evening's events are important to all, so please be respectful and considerate by turning off all cell phones and screaming children. <laughs> and now, please rise, remove your hats, and turn your attention to our play at the south side of the field as the senior choir sings the national anthem.
High school has been an unforgettable journey that we started almost 13 years ago in the kindergarten class. As we are completing the last steps of this journey, we would like to take a moment to thank those whose support has brought us to this point. Thank you for being a part of our journey and helping us succeed. I know my fellow classmates and I are anxious, to, are anxious for that coveted diploma. That being said, I think I can only li be able to listen to one more teacher lecture me before I receive it, and she is already scheduled for later in the ceremony. <laughs> so now let's welcome our first student speaker, the girl who has taught me to always keep moving forward because life's not that bad, my best friend, Bailey Merchant. First of all, wow, <laughs> it is an absolute honor to be speaking tonight. I can honestly say that these last four years have really flown by for me, and that I never could have imagined having this once in a lifetime opportunity to address my entire high school class as such a momentous occasion. Being a part of this class has been such a blessing, and I have no doubt that the individuals you see be sitting behind me are destined for greatness. I also have no doubt that the class of Ephrata High School, or sorry, the staff of Ephrata High School have played a crucial part in helping each one of us graduates uh, become the people that we are today. It is because of their hard work and persistence that we are now able to step confidently into the future with the knowledge and skills necessary for success. I will never forget Mrs. Roloff's patience with me as I struggled to understand a mathematical concept, or Ms. Alsop's encouragement for me to keep improving my writing skills. I believe that becoming a high school teacher is one of the, no or, yeah, the noblest professions and quite possibly the most difficult. I can't imagine what it must be like to wake up in the morning and know that your entire day will consist of standing in front of 14 to 18 year old kids and trying to teach them information that they have absolutely no desire to learn. <laughs> I hold the staff of Ephrata High School in the highest regard and would like to thank them for their hard work on our behalf. I would also like to thank the parents and family members who have been instrumental in helping us seniors achieve all that we have achieved so far. Not everyone is as lucky as we are to have been raised by such outstanding parents. And I know I'm not the only one here who is undyingly grateful to my parents for the love and support I have received from them. Our parents have taught us everything, from tying our shoes to filing our taxes. They have been with us every step of the way, catching us when we fall, and helping us realize our true potential. There have been many instances when I have wanted to give up or just stop working so hard and quit. But my parents have always been there pushing me forward. This guiding influence isn't something that we lose once we leave home. It is something that will continue to enrich our lives no matter where we go. With all the help that we have received from our parents, how could we possibly hope to repay them? Well, the best way I figure is to become the upstanding individuals our parents have seen in us all along. We must never stop chasing our dreams, no matter how impossible they may seem. Our parents did not spend 18 years of their lives raising children who would eventually amount to nothing. They spent 18 years of their lives raising individuals who will change the world. Each of us seniors will be going different directions after tonight. But the one thing that will always link us together is the fact that we are all graduates of Ephrata High School. We all walked the same halls, sat in the same classrooms, and parked in the same crowded parking lots. Whether we like it or not, EHS is always going to be a part of us, and we will always be part of the class of 2014. 
I am so thankful for the opportunity to speak tonight. And it has truly been a humbling experience. And I wish all of you the best of luck. Please welcome our next student speaker, Bryce Turnbull. Thank you, Bailey, and thank you to my classmates for providing me with the opportunity to speak tonight. I can't believe we finally made it. After 13 beautiful, dedicated, and grueling years of nonstop studying, we, the class of 2014, have finally made it to our commencement ceremony. While we are celebrating the end of our schooling in Ikrita at this ceremony, the term commencement may be misunderstood. Commencement is a new beginning, and that is why we are truly here, to celebrate the beginning of our independent adult lives and the exciting unknown of the paths that lie ahead of us. Sitting here in our caps and gowns, it is remarkable to think about just how much we have grown over the years. It seems like just the other day that we were in elementary school, running, screaming, and chasing a ball around the field, or begging our moms to let us go to the park with our friends, or watching our moms cry as we went off to school on the first day, or just laughing at dumb things like the noise that a ketchup bottle makes when you squeeze it too hard. <laughs> I came to a startling realization. We still do all of those things. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that we are still the same little kids on the inside. For example, as far back as I can remember, Johnny Green has been trying to show everyone how fast he was. And I can even remember him challenging people to races at lunchtime. <laughs> Years later, he's plastered his name on the school record board for every sprinting event, as a state champion in multiple events, and has so many records I can't even keep track. I think he proved his point. Matt Mortimer was always the one who competed to get the highest test scores, and would dramatically slam his pencil down in the middle of the class to show that he finished the test first. As much as it may have bugged me, he definitely pushed me to study harder, and now he's off to do the same thing, except this go-round will probably end up him slapping his gavel instead of his pencil. I can clearly remember Spencer Cobb suggesting to our third grade class that we name the pet hamster Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> In that moment, I knew he was destined to become the great farmer he is today. As soon as she learned to read, Abby McGuire was finishing books, taking AR tests, and fighting to earn more AR points than anyone else. To this day, there is still a discrepancy as to whether or not she or I had the most AR points. And although I don't think anyone keeps track of those records to sell the argument, Abby's competitive nature has carried with her and has driven others to succeed as well. Before I even knew Brandon Aldaco, he would come up with his giant, toothy grin give me a high five and ask how I was doing. He ended up being so friendly and outgoing that he made it on television. I don't think Tom Sherry and KHQ News will forget about that September 9th anytime soon. Mostly because of the hearing damage that occurs when you stand a little too close to Brandon at a football game. <laughs> Sadly, I don't have time to talk about everyone, but every single person sitting behind me has a similar story of the little traits that they've carried with them forever. We all have those little quirks that have weathered the storms of Parkway when, oh no, we have to make new friends with the Columbia Ridge kids. <laughs> and through middle school, when we had to take showers in the locker room, and that was absolutely the scariest thing in the world. And even through the first days of high school, where I was pretty sure that Dean Can only happened on TV, but still had a little doubt in the back of my mind whenever a senior seemed to look my way. Tonight, as we sit here at our commencement, our new beginning, we have no way of looking forward into the future and seeing where the next years of our lives will take us. And that's a fairly daunting concept. However, we all can be reassured by the fact that we've made it this far. And those same little personality traits of curiosity, friendliness, competitiveness, or any of the others that we all can identify deep inside have already survived countless trials. As we venture into the great unknown, to new places, with new challenges, 
Remember that our small quirks have a funny way of shining through and leading us to become the people we are created to be. Thank you very much. The two student speakers you just heard, Bailey Merchant and Bryce Turnbull, were elected by their classmates to speak today. It is now my pleasure to introduce our staff speaker, Mrs. Altstadt. Uh, 
Well, in 2014, if you don't get a selfie, nothing really happened. <laughs> well, 1914, the first graduation at Ephrata High School, three young women, in the pictures they look really old, but they were young and they graduated from Ephrata in long white dresses in a theater full of wildflowers. And tonight, we're sending 150, more than that, young men and women off into the big world as graduates. I've been here for 25 years in the Ephrata School District as a teacher librarian. And when I met this class, and they were freshmen, I was impressed with them as individuals and as a group. And my opinion of them has strengthened through the four years they were here. Many of us on this staff are really sorry to see them go. I'm here following two great speeches and a wonderful musical performance. And I'm going to address the faculty. I'm going to address the kids as the faculty and say farewell. So I'm going to turn my back to you and talk to my kids. Isaac, this is your last lecture. Well, you guys, we usually meet in exactly the same situation. You're sitting in the library and I'm standing and talking. So this is nothing new for any of us. You're polite, you listen to what I have to say, and then you go ahead and do what you'd already planned to do before I even talk, right? Ours is a teacher-student and maybe even a grandparent-teenager relationship. And I really have enjoyed it with you guys. So one last time, I want to offer you some advice about resources, because that's what I always talk to you about. Tonight, I represent all the educators you have met in 13 years. So I want you to close your eyes. I mean it, close them. Picture anyone, a teacher, custodian, principal, counselor, a secretary, that classroom aide, the nurse, a coach, your bus driver. Got him pictured? Okay, you can open. That's me. I'm speaking for all of them. As individuals and as a group, we're sending you a fond farewell, a wish for a good life, and all our hopes for your success. If you were to look up the word farewell in the dictionary, you'd learn it means to travel well, to move purposefully throughout life. I know all your teachers have urged you to set goals and work toward those goals. In fact, I think this year you got a little tired of hearing the question, what are you going to do next year? Well, goals are important. I know in first grade, your teacher really wanted you to learn to open the milk carton all by yourself. And in sixth grade, one early goal was for you to follow a schedule and find your classrooms. We're still working on that with one or two of you, and Security <laughs> Pat reminds you of that between every class. Mrs. Yenny and Mrs. Killinger help you write resumes and set up plans for next year. We all want you to fare well as you leave us. Reaching a goal means some serious work. It's not luck. So we have encouraged, urged, maybe even nagged, that you would put in the work needed. Last week, down at WSU, some of you brewed up some biofuel and lit off a jet engine. That took a lot of work. That was impressive. Some of you have been athletes, dancers, actors, cabaret performers, flower arrangers, artists, singers, musicians, debaters, you have put in hard work and you see the results. Part of your class motto printed on your program urges you to go into the world and do well. 
We hope you have learned that doing well means doing serious work. You cannot all win the lottery, but you're old enough now to buy a ticket. You know, I read a lot, and a couple of years ago, I read a little collection of essays by Robert Fulgham entitled, All I Ever Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. So right now you're wondering why you had to go any further in school, right? Well, here's some of what he learned, and I think you'll recognize it. Share everything. Play fair. Don't hit people. Put things back where you found them. Clean up your own mess. Say you're sorry when you hurt someone. If you read Shakespeare's Othello or Golding's Lord of the Flies this year, you learned what can happen when those rules get broken. Ever since kindergarten, teachers have been trying to reinforce these, and we wish, hope, and pray that you will remember them. And that you'll also remember that in Fulgham's words, when you go out into the world, it's best to hold hands and stick together. I hate the phrase, the real world. In case you didn't know it, you've always been part of the real world. Even though many of you spend quite a bit of time in the virtual world, on Facebook, Twitter, some of you are clashing with other clans. Well, tonight's commencement, your new beginning, is when you let go, and we let go, and you stand on your own. For 13 years, teachers have lined you up, led you down the hall, and into this brave new world. Your teachers, your families, and your community are here symbolically waving goodbye. When you get to your destination, send us a tweet, poke us on Facebook, wave at our avatars in your virtual reality, because we'll miss you. We miss you already. Well, you may want to stop, stop, stop the world. That really is only a dream. Years ago, when you were little, another band known as Green Day sent a message to all of us facing our own futures when they sang, it's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you have the time of your life. Congratulations and farewell. <laughs> On behalf of the 2014 ASB, we would like to present Mrs. Allsop with the Freda High School Diploma. It took her a few more years than us to make it this far, but we want to say thank you for being the ASB advisor all these years, and we hope that you have a blast in your retired life. At this time, we will present the diplomas. Students with a red activity cord represent their continued involvement in one of the activities listed in your bulletin over a three-year period. Those students with the gold honor cord represent an accumulated grade point average of 3.6 or above during their four years at Ephrata High School. Dr. Simon, Superintendent of Ephrata School District, and Larry Duffner, our school board president, will recognize our students and present the diplomas.
Brian Victor Wolf, Red Activity Corps, Gold Honor Corps, National Honor Society. Zachary Earl Wolf, Red Activity Corps, Gold Honor Corps, National Honor Society. Sheldon Ford Cosa, Red Activity Corps. Ophelia Bazan, Red Activity Cord, Avid. Jerry Acapo, Red Activity Cord, Avid. Miriam Isabel Hernandez, Red Activity Cord, Avid. Amarani Martinez, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord, National Honor Society. Alexandra Lynn Peston, Red Activity Cord. Abigail Ruth McGuire, Red Activity Cord. Gold Honor Cord, National Honor Society. Isaac Ricardo Garcia, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord. Chance Norbert Flanagan, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord. National Honor Society, Avid. Cole Jacobson, Red Activity Cord. McKenna Jacobson, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord, National Honor Society. Matthew Michael Mortimer, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord, National Honor Society. Bryce Loken Turnbull, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord, National Honor Society. Lana Michelle Sween, Red Activity Corps, Gold Honor Corps, National Honor Society. Evan Hunter Brooks, Enlisted United States Navy, Red Activity Corps, Gold Honor Corps. Riley William Pheasant, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord, National Honor Society. Sarah Ashley Pheasant, Red Activity Cord, National Honor Society. Connor Denali. Matalozo, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord, National Honor Society. <laughs> Bailey Leanne Merchant, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord. <laughs> Marissa Renee Wright, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord. <laughs> Haley Elizabeth Wade, Red Activity Cord. <laughs> Brooke.
Rachel, Margaret, Gear, AA, Big Bend Community College, Red Activity Corps, Gold Honor Corps, National Honor Society. Tyson, Walker, Yacht. Zachary, Nicholas, Dwyer, Red Activity Cord. Colton, Frederick, William, Fireman, Red Activity Cord. Monet, Therese, Hendrickson, Red Activity Cord. Astrid, Cam, Red Activity Cord. Avid. Connor, Mackenzie, Ellert. Caleb, Alan, Coleman. Adriana, Nicole, Place, Valenzuela, Red Activity Cord, Avid. Keisha, Danielle, Pack. Cassandra, Faye, McConnell, Red Activity Cord. <laughs> Dalton, Paul, Johnson, Red Activity Cord. <laughs> Bryce, Lewis, Unruh, Red Activity Cord. Cameron, Jace, Ball, Red Activity Cord. Kimberly, Nicole, Wallace. Dylan, Rudolph, Bentham, Red Activity Cord. Tyson, Stanley, Martin, Red Activity Cord. Anna Rose, Lyle, Ripley. <laughs> Tiffany, Renee, Lucio. Zachary, Scott, Brown, Red Activity Cord. Anna, Jane, LaDuke. Nicholas, Nolan, Peterson, Red Activity Cord. Victor, Ugo, Vela Jr., Red Activity Cord, Alan. Salma, Sarahi, Flores, Red Activity Cord, Alan. Alexandria, Monique. Peterson, Red Activity Cord, Avid. <laughs> Jessica, Sandoval, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord, National Honor Society, Avid.
Hunter, Andrew, Stucky, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord, Justin, Michael, Cassidy, Red Activity Cord. Nakia, Curtis, Wall, Red Activity Card. Anixia, Martinez, Red Activity Card. Amelia, Nancy, Soriano. Mindy, Hope, Garcia. <laughs> Lily, Ann, Rhodes. Amanda, K. Johnson. Soraya, May, Bradford, Red Activity Cord, National Honor Society. <laughs> David, Harley, Swenson, Red Activity Cord, Gold Honor Cord, National Honor Society. Dalton, Wesley, James, Valentine, Red Activity Card, Gold Honor Card. Jonathan, Galen, Melby, Red Activity Card. Andrea, Lopez. Gold Honor Card, National Honor Society. <laughs> Shayla Ray Scott. <laughs> Kaylee Nicole Duran. <laughs> Jamin. Alina, fitting, red activity cord. Michael Thomas Johnson. Sheldon Casey Humphrey. Zoe Jordan Tandler, Red Activity Card. Kennedy Jasmine Rhodes. Devin Henry Younger. Caitlin. Nicole Autry, Red Activity Card. Spencer Wayne Cobb, Red Activity Card. Rebecca Lester, AA Big Bend Community College, Red Activity Card. Amen. Chandler, Layton, Gribble, Red Activity Card, Allen. Dylan, Walker, Durr, Red Activity Card. Talia, Torres, Red Activity Card, Allen. Manuel Trejo, Red Activity Card. <laughs> K.O. Mecca, Board Exchange Student, Brazil.
Brazil. Dylan Reed Hale, Red Activity Corps. Carla Andrea Valencia, Red Activity Corps. Avid. Stephanie Marie Oliveras, Red Activity Corps. Avid. Jo Clarissa Jolene Lang. Kayla Ann Jensen. Graciela Mendoza. Kimberly Ann Loringer, Red Activity Corps. Kayla Jean Severin, Red Activity Corps. Brandon Aldaco, Red Activity Corps. Rafael Mendoza Nunez Jr. Red Activity Corps, Allen. Alejandra Mendoza, Red Activity Corps, Gold Honor Corps, National Honor Society, Avid. Leonardo Garcia, Red Activity Corps. James David Mandeville. Hunter Lee Pierre. Giselda Marie Garcia, AA Big Bend Community College, Red Activity Corps. Devin Matthew Sargell, Red Activity Corps, Avid. Sean Matthew Kent, Gold Honor Corps. Marcus Richard Plagerman, Red Activity Corps. Cody Lee Peterson. Richard Tristan Cole Maynard. Alexi Faye Schooler. Jennifer Elizabeth Doran, Red Activity Corps. Ashley Lynn Jensen. Clayton Carl Millard. Tyrus, Timothy, Kemp, Red Activity Corps, Gold Honor Corps, National Honor Society. Kaylee, Danielle, Jackson. Louise, Antonio, Hernandez, and Liston. 
United States Navy. Ashton Tegway, Red Activity Cord, Avid, <laughs> Levi Monroe Smith, and Listed United States Army. <laughs> Michael Carey Mulally.
Samantha Lee Dowd. Red Activity Cards. Gold Honor Cards. Avid National Honor Society. Casey Lynn Edder. Red Activity Cards. Justin James Van Ness, Red Activity Card, Gold Honor Card, National Honor Society. Troy Andres Christensen, Red Activity Card. Zachary David. Friend, red activity card. <laughs> Dalton, Lane, love it. Red activity card. Israel, Morphin, red activity card. Joaquin Toronto. <laughs> Martin Junior Ornelas. <laughs> Jonathan Mendoza. <laughs> Sierra. Nicole Woods, AA, Big Bend Community College, Red Activity Card, Gold Honor Card, National Honor Society. Claire Lauren Youngers, Red Activity Card. Samuel Henry Flynn. <laughs> Samuel Jeremiah Kolstrom. <laughs> Red Activity Card. As a class of 2014, we would like to spend a moment to thank everyone who has helped us get this far. This is one of our most crucial moments in life. With our speakers encouraging words and wise advice, we are ready to take this next step in life with our heads held high. Tonight may be the last time we are all together as a class but most importantly, a family. This is the time where we begin our semi-adult lives and learn to never let an opportunity slip by. Today is our day to celebrate what we have accomplished. Now it is our time for us to achieve our last goal as a class. So here is Mr. Martell to officially present to you the 2014 graduating class. Seniors, please stand. I am proud to announce that these students have met the requirements of the Ephrata School District and the State of Washington 
to complete their high school educations. The bell in front of you, which has been a part of Ephrata High School legacy, will be rung. It will symbolize the beginning of the next 100 years for Ephrata High School. Change your tassels left to right. Congratulations to the class of 2014. And as our graduates disperse. I will tell you one thing. Uh, having talked with Principal Dan Martell, he described this group as kind and decent, a very bright class, and they care a great deal for each other and their community. And I can tell you this, as a sports broadcaster and covering other community events, I wholeheartedly agree. I remember when these young men and women were just scrawny freshmen hitting the basketball court or, or throwing a touchdown pass, hitting the volleyball, and they will be missed, but uh, boy, we sure do send them our very best from everyone at iFiber One. We wish the class of 2014 continued success and we're going to close out on that. It looks like we got a little extracurricular activity going on anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. I'm Cody Johnson. And on behalf of my cameraman, Nick White, our producer, Spencer King, and Kelly Ryan down in the studio, I wish you a good night and a great weekend. <laughs>